magazine. Is it clear? Completely clear. Clear. Double check. Double check. Gun is empty. What's up, guys? This is Jake from Team Tattle coming to you with another video. And to oh God! turned off okay yeah it's it's turned off now all righty okay what's up guys this is jake from tn tactical coming at you with another video and today we're doing a follow-up of our psa dagger in this video today we're going to talk about the top five upgrades you need for your psa dagger now guys these are my top five upgrades i'm sure it's going to be very subjective and you're going to disagree and you're going to say well i've got my own five upgrades i think are the best that's great good for you i'm happy for you this is just my top five upgrades that i think need to make for the PSA dagger. Our initial reaction when we first shot the dagger was very positive overall. I mean, the frame felt really solid and it felt blocky like a typical clock does. It came with metal three dot front and rear sight instead of the typical plastic Glock sights you normally would receive. One major criticism we just had was the trigger honestly felt awful. It felt very spongy. It felt like there was a lot of follow through and that it took forever to go back and get a complete reset. So we decided to make another video and a lot of it has to do with improving the trigger pull. All right guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the top five upgrades that you really do need to consider getting when purchasing the PSA dagger. Number one is gonna be polished internal trigger parts. Now, this is something you can pay someone to do, but if you are trying to save a little bit of money, you can easily do this on your own. You need to polish all the internal parts where they connect and where metal rubs on metal. Now, you can use any kind of polish. I personally like to use this stuff here, Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. This has been awesome stuff for polishing internal mechanisms such as trigger parts. And we'll put some B-roll in here. All you got to do is take a Dremel and just go up in there and anywhere that metal contacts metal, polish it, it'll give it a mirror finish, which looks nice, but also it's gonna make it silky smooth so that way everything rubs a little bit better and it's gonna actually create less friction for when you actually pull the trigger itself. I mean, look at the difference this has already made. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that, but there's the side just polished and then there's a side that's not so polished. I hope that's not blurry, but it does make a significant difference. Okay, number two is gonna be a spring upgrade kit. Now, the spring upgrade kit, they give you a bunch of different springs, so that way you can actually pick and customize and see how much pull you want and how much weight you want on the actual trigger itself. These are very important because again, we're trying to focus on improving the trigger quality here for the PSA dagger. Number three, now I don't exactly know what the name of this thing is. So it's an over travel prevention housing for the trigger housing. Basically, there's like a little set screw in there and it's going to screw in to where you can actually keep it from over traveling too far once the striker is pulled. So that comes in with that bundle that we talked about. It's just a nice little tool to kind of prevent your trigger from going too far back. So that way you're not having to go back forward a whole bunch just to get the trigger to reset. So number four is going to be the actual trigger shoe itself. Now, let me just show clear here. We are being safe. You see, there's nothing in the chamber, all that good stuff, dry fire in here. All right, so the trigger shoe itself, this is not the stock trigger shoe. Now, if you recall from our previous shooting footage, you'll see that we have the original trigger in there. It was very, very spongy. We hated it. It was horrible. It just felt like you were just pulling and pulling and pulling for days and days. With this trigger shoe, it's a little bit of a cleaner break. So you see, you just pull. Now, you've got a safety mechanism on this particular trigger shoe. Uh, this is a Serpico strikeout trigger shoe, by the way, but you just pull it here and just like that, very quick reset. Thanks to that over travel prevention there. What if I sat down and shot? Yeah. I, I never do that. I could be a fan. Now, I will say this, that with trigger shoes, the trigger shoe itself is going to be very subjective to what you like. Okay. This is what I like. I found it to be pretty awesome for me it may not work for you however because it's based off a of generation 3 glock there are plenty of triggers out there for you to choose from my suggestion is to just go ahead and go for a different one after market that you're comfortable with and lastly uh number five on our list of top five upgrades you need to consider getting for the psa dagger is going to be different sites 
Now, based on how you're planning on using this firearm, you may prefer to use night sights on the front and back. You may prefer to try to use it for competition, and you may want to go with a fiber optic front. You may want to go and take the slide and get milled out and put a red dot on there. However, number five would have to be to get a different set of sights on here. However, I do have to give credit to PSA Dagger. These are male front and rear sights. A big upgrade from the regular Glock sights that you get on the regular Glock. So for us today, for our purposes, we did not upgrade these sights. However, we will show you some night sights on a Generation 4 Glock 19 here. If we just kind of get an idea of what they look like. And you'll see that there is a huge improvement. So my fifth upgrade would have to be to get different sights, if you so choose. You that those are bloody accurate. Yeah, these are quite accurate. I mean, like I said, we, we really enjoy shooting with these iron sights, especially because they're metal and they seem to stay put. But again, for your purposes, you may prefer to go with different optics. I do like the metal sights a little bit more than uh, those plastic sights that run my 990L. See that video? Less likely to get destroyed by carrying. Much more durable. Very nice. 100%. I gave up on knocking the wire off that one. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This thing with these upgrades is so accurate that I could almost, you'll probably be able to see out there in the distance that plate that's barely hanging by a thread. It's so accurate that honestly, if I take my time, I could really probably knock the thing off. Uh, I'm not cool enough to try. <laughs> Cause you know, the cost of ammo and all that. Oh, speaking of which, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, that way we can afford more ammo and bring you more good quality content and get some more cool upgrades. Now, again, th these are just my five upgrades. You know, you know your situation better than I ever will. From my experience and my situation, I think these are the best five upgrades I can get. Of course, there's a lot of different moving variables and moving parts whenever you're trying to decide how you want to outfit your personal defense weapon. So please take all those into consideration. My words, what I'm telling you, are not the gospel. It's not, it's not gospel? No, it's, it's gospel. Go gospel. Gospel. Okay. Gospel. The gospel. Please always consider your situation and what suits you the best. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video today. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Do you have one of these? I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time. The trigger shoe itself, this is not the stock trigger shoe. Uh, if you recall from our video, what's the problem? Nothing, I was going to zoom in. I was like, nah, fuck it. Okay, those faces scare me. <laughs>